You're listening to Stand Tall and Own It, the podcast for high-performing female leaders who are ready to make an impact by discovering the safety that comes from understanding their own value and exercising their own authority. I'm your host, Andrea Johnson, and I'm here to tell you it is time to just truly be you, my strong friend. It's time to stand tall and own it. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the final episode of Stand Tall and Own It for 2023. I am your host, Andrea Johnson, and if you are listening to this on the day it drops, then Merry Christmas to you. This episode drops on Monday, Christmas Day. I am sitting here in the spirit of all that with my Christmas tree in the background over on the other side of the camera. I have my Christmas mug with Santa and the reindeer trying to put lights and the star on the tree. Do you switch out mugs for holidays? We don't do them for every holiday, but for some reason, Christmas is the one that we decorate the most for. We do have a few fall mugs, but I have an entire bin of mugs, and now we only switch out five or six. (laughs) We used to switch out 10 or 12 or 15, and they're all these different mugs that have you know, sentimental meaning. I think my mother bought this one for me or gave this one to me. And I'm going to put it over here because I I have a history of dropping coffee on my keyboard and I just replaced it. So, or at least Apple did. So I'm going to put it over there, but I did want to say Merry Christmas to you. If you're listening to this in between Christmas and New Year's, I can't wait to hear how your holidays have gone. And I hope that the last season or the last series that we did for you with this understanding of that you can get through the holidays in a less stressful way. I hope that was helpful to you. The purpose of today is to say Merry Christmas, number one, and number two is to actually just give you an idea of what's coming in 24. If you listened last week, um, part of what I shared was there were a lot of, doing this review um, each year gives me an understanding of a lot of changes that happened in 2023. And I look back on all of that. There were changes in my business, here on the podcast. And one of the main things that I want to reiterate before we hop into 2024 is what it actually means to stand tall and own it. You can go back and listen to the trailer. I may do a new one, but the basic gist of it is that it means we're not hiding from our opinions anymore. We're not hiding from who we are. We're leading from our own wisdom and being reminded that that really matters to people and it matters that we lead from those places of our own convictions and our own core values. But it also means sometimes saying the hard thing and setting the solid boundaries and making sure that we represent what we want to represent and who we are. So... In 2024, we're going to kind of lean into that a little bit more fully. The more we, the more I grow, the more confident I am in sharing my own opinions and sharing my own wisdom. And so that means that I'd like to have 2024 be a season of kind of like nothing is off limits topic wise in the leadership and personal growth space. Let me put it that way. (laughs) There might be a few things that would be off limits. You know, there's that uh, triangle or that uh, holy trinity, I think I've called it, uh, of taboo subjects that you're not supposed to talk about. Money, politics, and religion. And we've already talked about money on this podcast, and we probably will do that some more because I think that that is an area of leadership that we can lead in not just our own lives, but in our families and in our businesses and in our communities. Um, Politics, not so much. I don't want to get your hopes up. We're not going to have political conversations on this podcast. (laughs) That's not something that I really want to lean into. Um, It's not something I care about that much, actually. However, the religion topic is something that we are going to get back into. I started off in my business and in this podcast with much more of a holistic approach. The body, mind, where we think about things. You hear me talk about critical thinking. The soul, where we talk about our emotions and the way that we interact with people and our personality types. And the spirit, that's depending on who you talk to, you're going to get either three or four things that make up a holistic person. But one of the things that I didn't really talk much about in 2023 or 2022 was the spiritual side of things. And there's a reason for that. And part of it it will be one of the topics that we discuss in 2024. So I'm leaning back into that spiritual side. If you don't come from the same tradition as me, that's fine. That's actually part of the beauty of doing what I've done for the last several years is really kind of learning about who I am and how I'm made and how 
I relate to other people and where I fall in the spiritual spectrum, et cetera. Um, but I just wanted to give you a few previews, like some ideas of some topics, invite you to speak back to me on this issue and let me know some topics that either have resonated with you or that you really want to hear about. It's so exciting to me when I run into somebody in the community or somebody that I, you know, we look at podcast downloads and we have no idea who's listening. But when somebody says to me, your podcast means so much to me, it's like, oh, yes, even if it's just one person, to know that it matters and that the topics that we talk about here that we discuss either with guests or on my, just for me, just having a conversation with you that you and I have the conversation about. That really matters to me. So I would love to hear from you, but I'd like to share really quickly just a few of the topics that in no particular order other than the first one, <laughs> um, because I know what the first one's going to be on January 2nd, I believe is when it comes out, Monday, January 2nd. But I'm going to share some topics that we're going to be talking about in the next year, and I'm really interested to see how they hit you and how whether they excite you or not and how they, you know, whether or not they already spark some questions. If you have some, let me know because none of these, as of this recording, are actually recorded yet. So I will tell you that the first one probably you won't, I mean, that won't, I won't be able to answer questions on that unless we do another one later because I will be recording that this in this week. So the first one in January of 2024 is going to be on perspectives. The longer I work, the longer I live, the more I learn, the more perspectives I see. I was even sharing with my coach today on a Marco Polo. I said, the more I dive into certain areas, we're talking about theology and diving into those areas, the more I realize, wow, it just, it's so vast, all the different perspectives that you can have on so many different things. And as a terminally curious person, I can't believe I was closed off to so many of those things for so long. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to kind of give a, a primer a little bit on perspectives, but really a lot of it is going to be what I've noticed in myself and how things have changed in myself by learning to see other people's perspective. All right. So in no particular order after that, we are going to talk about navigating change, how you do that. We all want to change in the first of the year. We set New Year's resolutions or intentions or goals. But we rarely talk about how we navigate that, right? So we're going to talk about how we navigate change for ourselves in order to make some lasting changes, and that includes building habits, et cetera. The bigger topic that I definitely want to dive into in this next year is what I was alluding to a little bit earlier on the spiritual side of things, is what I have been calling deconstruction and reconstruction of my faith. But I heard on a podcast recently that kind of another way to put it is um, – it has been used in like church history or, and of course I come from a Christian evangelical faith, but the phrase was orienting, meaning learning about it and then disorienting or what some people might call the dark night of the soul and what I would call deconstruction and then reorienting. And I like that a lot because I have not left my faith. I am one of those people who has deconstructed and still remained a believer, a Christian, and a Jesus follower. So those kinds of things are going to be a little bit more open this year. And if you have questions about that, I'm happy to talk with you and walk through those or just address more of those topics in a podcast. I want to talk about grief, grief associated with change, grief that comes with realizing you were wrong or that you were misled or that you espouse something that injured or caused violence or harm to another person or a group of people. I want to talk about dealing with prolonged stress or trauma, and I'll tell you some of my story from the last several years, and um, and then we can kind of look at how other people have dealt with prolonged stress or trauma. Of course, we're going to talk about leadership and all the different aspects of it. My business model on the ground is changing a little bit, and I've been coaching almost exclusively for the last over three years, and I'm moving more into a space of doing a little more speaking, a little more workshopping, a little bit more, um, uh, what do you call it? Training, I guess, is a better way to put it. So I definitely want to pull more leadership in there. If you are local to Charlottesville or the Central Virginia area and you want to come over to Charlottesville, Monday, January 15th, so that's just 20 some odd days from the airing of this podcast, 
I will be hosting a Live to Lead Charlottesville on Monday, January 15th. It'll be in the socials. It's a leadership conference. It's all day. It's on a a day that is a holiday that we celebrate one of the greatest leaders in our country's history, Martin Luther King. So it's on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And you can find the information in all of my socials, on my website, in my newsletter. So if you've heard of it already, please register. And if you can't, you can get it... um, after the fact, or instead, you can get just an online version of this particular conference. But it's a leadership conference. So I'm going to be, that's one of the things I'm going to be doing more of is more local in-person stuff. I think when you start your business and the pandemic hits immediately, you forget that you can do a lot of local and in-person. And I'm really enjoying getting back into my community and, and being more involved. So leadership, what does it look like? How it might be or might not be what you expect and how you can show up for your, in your own particular unique way. Another topic is being willing to know yourself and all the different ways that we can do that. One of them is through your core values. One of them is through your boundaries. But another thing that I share on almost every interview that I give on a podcast is that I geek out on personality typing. I love all the different tests, all the different methods and methodologies and I'm going to share a little bit I, I've kind of got in my mind that I might be doing something uh, an episode kind of like to, to type or not to type what the tools are why how they are different why you would use one tool over another I am a disc consultant why you would use disc instead of Myers-Briggs or Enneagram or human design or um working genius any of those and so that's fun if you have questions um, maybe I'll pull in a guest or two to help with some of those maybe we'll do a series on that kind of thing because I have friends who are particular specialists in those other areas other coaches Um, also in knowing yourself understanding what kind of a processor you are makes a difference if you're an internal or external so I want to talk about that of course in the mind staying within the mind body mind soul and spirit um, I want to dive deeper into critical thinking All the ways that I look back and I can see now where I didn't actually do it and I saw a red flag and I wish I had done it at the time and now I've done it and I have changed. Um, But all the excuses that I made for myself and because mostly I want you to see where you might be overlooking red flags where you could be doing some critical thinking and you're choosing not to because that's a really easy thing for us to do, especially as women. Um, in the West, (laughs) maybe even in the East. I don't know. As women in this human world, it's very easy for us to do that. But then how do you take critical thinking, even if you've made some choices that weren't the best and actually move forward, right? Like I said, I've been coaching almost exclusively for the last three years. So I have lots of client topics. I have some corporate clients where I have really, and I'm doing a lot more of this in, in training and in speaking, but team building, setting your team up to succeed, communicating with your team, how you do team culture, Um, Of course, values will never get left behind. I am the core values lady, and that will always be a tool I offer. It will always be a way that you can work with me. But I want to kind of dive into that a little deeper and talk about how they're different from the things that we value. Our core values are different from those things. How values are different from priorities. I'm learning a lot through doing my hybrid coaching with individuals where they get access to the digital course. And then for at least four meetings with me where we kind of dive a little deeper. I push back and I help them figure out what their core values are and seeing how values are different from priorities and how they might mesh together. And of course, we're going to look at our ABCs and how our assumptions, our beliefs, and our conditioning affect and are a part of all of these topics so expect to have your conditioning challenged expect for things to maybe trigger you a little bit but please please come back and hang in there and be courageous with me as we look at the topics because that's my goal is to give you the topics or the ideas that will cause you to react because if we don't have anything that causes us to react we don't really have an impetus to change. So I want to give you some topics and ideas that will cause you to react and then allow you to figure out where you stand and why. And again, if you're local to Charlottesville, please look up the Live to Lead um, conference for Monday, January 15th, because that is a perfect place to start. We're going to be equipping you, those in attendance, with tools to help you take what you learn on that day and take it back out into your community and your lives and your family and your jobs and your organizations to really affect change. But here's the main thing I want you to hear today. I believe in you. I believe especially that women are uniquely equipped to lead because of our nurturing nature. Even if you think you don't have a nurturing nature, women are wired uniquely, but 
Apart from that, I believe that you're a leader. I believe that you can lead in ways that will not only surprise you, but they will surprise me and everybody else around you. And my desire is to equip you with what you need to make 2024 the year that you embrace the leader that you're created to be, the leader that only you can be. But you need to understand you, which is why your core values and your disc wiring and all your ABCs are so important. So let me know how these topics hit for you. I want to hear from you. Of course, social media, DM me on Instagram or LinkedIn. Email me, Andrea at theintentionaloptimist.com. Tell me, Andrea, I'd like to hear about this topic. Or you said this one thing, and I'd love for you to go deeper on that. Could you do that in January or maybe in February? Get on my newsletter list. All of this information will be in there. And if you're a YouTube watcher, hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. Because here's the thing. In 2024, I am confident of this one thing is that we can do this together. And that standing tall and owning it is something that will change your world and it will change mine. So let's stand tall and own it together. Until next year. 